Determining harvest time is going to be extremely crucial for getting that bud we all dream of that is extremely amazing, better than top shelf dispensary quality type stuff. So we're going to talk about the signs that you're getting close to your harvest time and then your, your uh, particular trichome percentage that you'll be looking for and what even is a trichome for those who don't know. So we're going to get into that very fast. But one thing I want to mention before we talk about determining harvest time is just that I stream on Twitch on an almost daily basis every morning. You can hit that link down below. I, we're either gaming or I'm going to be starting IRL streams where I'm going to be doing um, some training for my one dab gram or one gram dab that I'm going to be having to do when we hit that 1000 subscriber mark. So go join me down there uh, and hit the follow button so you get notified when I stream on there. But we're going to talk about harvest time. So harvest time, as we all know, is the point where you either one, start the flush or two, chop your plant down and start the drying process. Now, how do you determine when you're at that spot? Well, a couple things are gonna to happen to your plant. Your buds are obviously going to be well-developed at this point. They're going to be at their full maturity before you even start to see signs that your plant is begging to be cut down. Now, your buds are gonna be at full maturity. You're not gonna be growing any more leaves at this point, obviously. One thing that's gonna happen is your plant is going to stop drinking water at a quick rate. It's going to slow down its taking its uptake of nutrients. It's going to slow down its uptake of water. So you're going to notice if you write down in a notebook or you write down every single day you water, it's going to increase the amount of days, increase the number of days in between your waterings. And that is how you're going to know you're going to be wanting to look for the fade in the leaves and you're going to want to take a look at the trichome development through a scope. But we'll talk more about that later. A second thing that's going to happen when you're getting into the harvest stage or close to the harvest stage is your plants are going to fade. Now, this is a process I'm not 100% knowledgeable about, so excuse me, but um, it's going to slow its uptake of nutrients. It's not going to be uptaking as much nutrients, but inside the plant, it's going to be using a lot of that nutrients and it's going to give sort of a deficiency effect, changing the color. Now it can either change to a yellow, which is extremely typical. You see yellow all the time at the bottom of your plants. If you feed every other time, or if you're simply not feeding enough nitrogen, but that can be tolerable for the plant. So don't worry a whole lot about that. Just take those leaves off but they can also fade into a red yellow purple any type of color basically um, I've seen a lot of different colors in cannabis plants including blacks and blues um, very vibrant colors when you get into the fade this is going to tell you as a grower that the plant is nearing the end of its natural lifespan which is normally eight to 12 weeks into the flower stage, depending on your specific strain and bending on your specific cultivar. So that's why the last thing is super important. So the trichome percentages. Now the trichomes are little mushroom type shaped structures with round balls at the top. Now, the only parts we're going to be paying attention to are those round balls at the top of the trichome that change color. Now they only change to three different colors. They'll start to development, they'll be a clear color, and then as they start to age they'll become milky and then pure white, uh, which I kind of define as the same color, but you'll see the difference when you're growing your plants. It'll basically be a white color. And then they will start to degrade and they will turn amber. Now once you get to the point where approximately 10 to 15% of your trichomes are that amber color, you're going to be looking to wanting to harvest. Even if, even if a lot of your trichomes are clear, a lot of trichomes simply won't develop fully. And this can happen because they either didn't get what they need throughout the flower stage, or they just developed really late and they are just immature. It can happen for quite a few reasons, but not all of your trichomes are going to turn that milky white color. And if you try to wait for all of yours to get to the milky white, you're going to have way too much amber. You're going to have way too many degraded trichomes. You're going to 
washer but if you do that or you're just simply not going to have as high of quality because it does not have the optimal thc range if what you're looking for is to get high but i hope this video helped you determine when you should either flush or when you should cut your plant down completely and start that drying stage i will see you guys next time thank you very much